get portable x-ray in here. All right. Give me something for pain. Okay, sir, we'll get you something, some pain, just in a second here. They breathe, they bleed, they talk, and they blink their eyes, all while preparing our doctors, medical students, and local EMTs for the rigors of life in the ER. They're called human patient simulators, or computerized medical mannequins, and they're among the new technologies now in place at SUNY Upstate's new Emergency Medicine Simulation Training Center, a 1,200-square-foot teaching laboratory specifically constructed to resemble a real-life emergency room. Um, Keep the tube in place. The facility consists of two emergency bays, crash carts, and medication dispensers. Technicians and instructors sit in an adjacent room behind a two-way mirror. They have the ability to change the mannequin's medical condition while a video camera captures student interaction during training scenarios. Dick Cherry is the medical simulation technical director. What we've done here is we've set up a virtual emergency department using high fidelity mannequins and computers and cameras and video equipment to replicate our emergency room. I'm in here, I'm the uh, the technical guy. I run the scenario on the computer. I'd also have uh, one of the docs in here who's running the medical aspect of the scenario. Students are presented with a wide range of cases that they may not normally be exposed to during a normal rotation through the emergency department. Every case is specifically designed for each year of medical residency for maximum training value. An adjacent classroom is used to review and discuss videotapes of each case. Here, instructors work with students to immediately deconstruct each step taken during the training session and provide instant feedback. We get feedback from, from the residents after, after each session. That seems to be their greatest uh, um, benefit uh, from their own perspective, is to be able to come in here and discuss these cases and the nuances of the cases um, with the attendings and uh, learn about how uh, not just how the textbook would, would tell you to manage it, but also based on our experience as uh, attendings, how we would kind of uh, uh, alter the textbook management, if you will. Well, it uh, allows, it, allows us as a, as a group to talk about it when it's, you know, just happened, it's very fresh in our mind, as opposed to being in the emergency department where it happens and then the patient moves on and we have to move on too because we have other patients. So it allows us to spend more time while it's uh, fresh on our minds. What really sets the facility apart are the human patient simulators. Each have wired hard drives and complex software that enables them to talk, groan, and emulate sickness and produce human-like secretions including tears, blood, and urine. Trainees can perform most tasks such as patient assessment, wound and trauma care, and even procedures such as intubation. Right there. Can you feel it? 21, 22 at the lip. Okay. Bag up. Let's okay. check placement. When you walk into this ED, when you walk up to this patient, you are immediately taken back by the fact that this mannequin is breathing. His eyes are open. He's blinking and looking at you. He can speak. He has pulses everywhere that you have pulses. He can take blood pressure. Uh, he's pretty lifelike. These virtual patients respond accordingly to each action taken offering reactions to treatment and drug intervention prescribed by the students. The result is an almost immediate suspension of disbelief that takes the teaching far beyond conventional classroom simulations. Yeah, where... He's got a big uh, gastric bubble probably from his just crying. crying. You do get into to, uh, the scenarios. Sometimes, obviously, the feedback is a little different than what you would get. So um, you kind of have to ask some questions here or there to really make sure you understand what, the, what they're trying to get, what point they're trying to get across or what the patient's doing. But you, you know, the drug doses and uh, all those things are the same and the problems that you look for are the same. This simulated hands-on patient experience offers our students and clinicians an enhanced training program that will ultimately enable SUNY Upstate to better serve the needs of the region. Just the mere fact of being immersed in the environment and being emotionally vested in the outcome um, adds significantly to your retention. So ultimately what, uh, what this center helps us to, uh, to provide to the community is uh, better trained, better capable emergency physicians 
and uh, ultimately allow for, for better patient outcomes. If we can call, we'll get some dilant and ready to go. Okay. And we'll just put it on up there.